know. We missed it again. <sighs> Has Peter come back yet, Sightly? No, Nibs. I wish Peter would come back. So oh. do we. I'm always afraid of pirates and Indians when Peter's not around to protect us. I wonder what's keeping him so long. Maybe he's waiting to hear the end of Cinderella. Cinderella! Not knowing anything about my mother, I'm fond of thinking she were just like Cinderella. My mother was fonder of me than your mother's were of you. No, she wasn't. Yes, she was. Peter had to make up names for you, but my mother had wrote my name on the clothes that I was lost in. Slightly soiled. That's my name. <laughs> What's that? Pirates! Pirates! Oh. 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 The bloody buccaneers and each a murderous crook. We massacre Indians, kill little boys, and cater to Captain Hook. Yo ho, yo ho, the terrible Captain Hook. Clumsy, clumsy, butterfingers. Oh, Captain, no. Drop that pistol first. It was one of those boys you hate. I could have shot him dead. Aye. And the first crack would bring Tiger Lily's Indians upon us. Do you want to lose your scalps? That is true. Shall I after him, Captain? Shall I uh, tickle him with Johnny Corkscrew? Not now, Smee. He's only one, and I want to mischief all of them. They must live round here somewhere. Scatter and look for them! Most of all, I want their captain, Peter Pan. Twas he who cut off me arm. Oh, I have waited long to shake hands with him with this. Oh, I'll tear him. <laughs> I, I have oft heard you say that your hook is worth a score of hands for combing hair and other homely uses. Aye, Smee. If I were a mother, I should pray that me children be born with this instead of that. But Peter threw me hand to a crocodile that happened to be passing by. I have oft noticed your strange dread of crocodiles. Not of crocodiles, but of that one crocodile. <laughs> he liked me hand so much that he followed me ever since. From land to land, from sea to sea, he follows the ship. Licking his lips for the rest of me. Well, golly, in a way, it's sort of a compliment. Well, I want no such compliment. I want Peter Pan, who first gave the brute his taste for me. Smee, that crocodile could have got me long before this, if he could have crept upon me unawares. But. By some lucky chance, he swallowed a clock. A clock! And it goes on, tick, tock, tick, within him. And before he can reach me, I hear the tick, and I bolt. <laughs> I once heard it strike six within him. <laughs> Someday the clock will run out, and then he'll get you. I, that's a fear that haunts me. <laughs> Oh, what's oh, the matter, Captain? It's, it's very hot, me. Help me! A chimney. Peter and the boys must be living underground. Listen! They say that Peter is away from home. Call back the men. Yo ho! Well, come on, fellas. Jeez. I must think. Inspire me. Play you dogs. What tempo, Captain? 
A tango. A tango on Rip Your Plane, Captain. <laughs> Take eight white lards and fill each layer in between. With icing mixed with poison until it turns a tempting green. Well, place it near the house, just where the boys are sure to cook up. <laughs> and be in green tea, they won't care to question such a plum. The boys who have no mother sweet no one to show them their mistake. <laughs> Won't know it's dangerous to eat, so deaf and rich a king. And so before the winking of an eye, those boys will eat that poison cake, and one by one they'll die. Okay. you horrid boys their time has come the clock the clock how do you know i hear the tickets behave me don't leave me captain oh golly would come back. What's that? It's just so quiet. <gasps> Indians! Indians! to Tiger Lily, went on warpath.
such a lost boy. Let's go home now. Back to TP. Yes? Yes! Yeah. Ah! When in doubt, run! It's Tinkerbell! She says Peter wants to shoot the Wendy. I shoot it quick! Golden arrows! shall we do with Wendy? Let's carry her down into the house! Yeah. That wouldn't be sufficiently respectful. <gasps> I know we'll build a house around her. A house. I have a plan. We'll need lots of wood. Ooh. Need lots of leaves. <laughs> need lots of paint. <laughs> but hush! Hush, 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 hush. Let's be quiet as a mouse and build a lovely little house for Wendy. Call for Wendy. She's come to stay. I be a mother, at last we have a mother. Home sweet home upon the wall, a welcome mat down in the hall for Wendy. So that Wendy won't go away. We have a mother, at last we have a mother. Oh, what pleasure she'll bring to us. Make us pockets and sing to us. Tell us stories we've been longing to hear. Over and over, she'll be waiting at the door. We won't be lonely anymore since Wendy. Mother, at last we have a mother. Bring the best of what 
we have. children. Oh. Wendy lady, be our mother. I'd love to be your mother, provided that Peter will be the father. All right, as long as it's only make-believe. <laughs> Children, I'm sure this cake is much too damp and rich for you. Aww. Now you go on inside the house. Before I put you to sleep, I'll have just enough time to finish the story of Cinderella. Yay! The boys have found a mother. Uh, what's a mother? <laughs> I must think. What tempo, Captain? A tarantella. A tarantella. Methinks I see a spark, a gleam, a glimmer of a plan, with which perhaps I may redeem my honor as a man. We'll kidnap Wendy, seize the boys, and you'll have hope to thank. For when the time is ripe, you'll see the children walk the plank. Oh, when was such a princely plot concocted by another to murder all the boys and keep the Wendy for our mother? Oh, when was such a princely plot concocted by another to murder all the boys and keep the Wendy? 
for a mother. Hey, come on, Bravo, come on, Bravo. Yo ho, yo ho, yo ho, yo ho. To the ship, 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 to the ship. Wendy, guide the house well. I will.
example for our children. Well, Mother, I'm hungry. Oh, yes, it's nearly dinner time. I'll go home and get it started. And Peter, you'll have just enough time to give our children their daily lesson, like a good father. Very well, Mother, I'll do my best. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, Mommy. Goodbye. Light up! Are you ready for today's lesson? Yes, yes Peter. Then listen to your teacher and repeat after me. I won't grow up. I won't grow up. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to go to school. Just to learn to be a parrot. Just to learn to be a parrot. And recite a silly rule. And recite a silly rule. If growing up means it would be beneath my dignity to climb a tree. Not me. Not me. I won't grow up. I won't grow up. I don't want to wear a tie. I want to wear a tie. Or a serious expression. Or a serious expression. In the middle of July. In the middle of July. And if it means I must prepare to shoulder burdens with the word. and ordered us to tie the red stick to the tree and leave her there for the wolves. Enough said to leave the tree with her me. Not so rough, Starkey. Uh, roughish, but uh, not so rough. Poor Tiger Lily. What was that? Ahoy there, you lubbers. It is the captain. He must be close by. I tied the red skin to the tree, captain. Set her free. But, Captain, you. Cut her bonds or I'll plunge me hook in you. Better do what the Captain orders. <laughs> aye, aye. Ahoy there. Yeah. It is the Captain. The captain is all there. All's very well. Where's the red skin? Uh, Captain, you ordered to us to uh, let her go. Let her go? Uh, twas your own orders, Captain. You called to us to let her go. Brimstone and gall. 
Lads, I gave no such order. Tis passing queer. <laughs> Spirit that haunts this dark forest tonight, dost hear me? Odds, bobs, hammer and tongs, I hear you. Speak, stranger. Have you a name? I am Hook. Hook? Captain of the Jolly Roger. If you are Hook, then who am I? A codfish. A codfish? Have we been captains all this time by a codfish? <laughs> Don't desert me, bullies! <laughs> Speak, stranger. Have you another name? Yes. Vegetable? No. Mineral? No. Animal? Yes. Man? No. Have you another voice? Yes.
day at the forest. Oh, Mother, it was such a wonderful dinner. Strawberry shortcake, vanilla ice cream, chocolate pudding, lemon meringue pie, and fudge for dessert. Yes, well, I always believe in a well-balanced diet. <laughs> now the house is in order. Tinkerbell, is your room straightened up? Now really, Tink. I will not go home. Peter needs me. Why can't we talk this over like two civilized human beings? Ow, ow, Tink, <laughs> let go. <laughs> Now that we're finished, tell us a story. Very well. <laughs> tell us the end of Cinderella. Well, the prince found her and... And... And they all lived happily ever after. Yay! Tell us the end of the Sleeping Beauty. Well, the prince woke her up and... And? And they all lived happily ever after. Yay! Tell us the end of Hamlet. Hamlet? Well, the Prince Hamlet died, and the King died, and the Queen died, and Ophelia died, and Polonius died, and Laertes died, and... And? Well, the rest of them lived happily ever after. Yay! Now, no more stories till your father comes home. Aww. Don't shoot! We're friends now. Friends! I saved Tiger Lily's life in the forest, and she saved my life! Peter Pan is the sun and the moon and the stars! I know. Come on, boys, shake hands with your new brothers. Don't be afraid. Come on, let's make two tribes into one. Tiger Lily, let's smoke them, peace pipe. I go buzz, 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 I'll just send for Tiger Lily. I'll just send for Peter Pan. We'll be coming willy nilly.
matter, Lily. I'll never get my children to sleep after all this excitement. We go up now. Keep guard. Watch for pirates. Father. Here's your pipe, Father. Here's your paper, Daddy. Now go wash up. It's your bedtime. They are sweet, aren't they, Peter? There's nothing like sitting by the fireside with the little ones close by, Mother. Peter, don't you think I'm too big for a pacifier? A little less noise there. Peter. What is it? I was just thinking. It's just pretend, isn't it, that I'm their father? Oh, yes. But they are ours, Peter. Yours and mine. But not really. Well, no, not if you don't wish it. I don't. Peter, what are your exact feelings for me? Those of a devoted son, Wendy. I thought so. You're so strange. Tinkerbell's just the same. She says there's something she wants to be to me, but it isn't my mother. I almost agree with her. Then in you go. Do you know a lullaby to sing to our children? A lullaby? A lullaby, I think so. Sometimes late at night I begin to remember. Once upon a time and long ago I heard someone say Mother's in half mourning by this time. You're not leaving us, Wendy. I must, at once. Peter, I appeal to you to make the necessary arrangements. Tink, you are to get up at once and take Wendy on a journey across the sea. Dear one, if you all come with me, I feel almost sure my mother and father would adopt you. 
Yay! Peter, can we go? All right. Yay! Then put your beds away quickly, and remember to bring the baby clothes you were lost in. Peter, I'm going to give you your medicine before your journey. Get your things, Peter. I'm not going with you, Wendy. Yes, Peter. No. Why not? I don't want to grow old and learn about solemn things. I always want to be a little boy and to have fun. No one is going to catch me and make me a man. Peter's not coming with us. Peter's not coming? Then, Peter, we won't leave you. It's all right. If you find your mothers, I hope you will like them. <laughs> now then, no fun, no grubbering, just say goodbye. Good. Wendy? Take them all to the ship. The boys, we will make walk the plank. And Wendy will be our mother. But what about Peter? This is for Peter. Poison! Ha 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 ha! He's Poison nonsense. Who could have poisoned it? 
I promised Wendy I was going to take it, and I will as soon as I've sharpened my dagger. Why, Tink, you drunk my medicine. What's the matter with you? It was poisoned. You drank to save my life. Tink, dear Tink, you're dying. Your voice is so low I could scarcely hear what you're saying. And your light is growing faint, and if it goes out, that means you're dead. What's that you say? You say, you think, you think you could get better if, if, if what, Tink? If children believed in fairies, do you believe? If you believe, say quick that you believe. If you believe, clap your hands. Clap, clap, don't let Tink die. Clap, clap your hands. She's getting better. Clap, clap, she's getting stronger. Her light is getting brighter. Clap, clap louder. Clap, clap. She's all right now. Thank you, thank you. Come on, Tink, let's rescue Wendy. the night is, nothing sounds alive. Now is the hour when children in their homes are abed, their lips bright brown from the good night chocolate, their tongues drowsily searching for belated crumbs housed insecurely on their shining cheeks. Compare with them the captive children on this ship. Split me in fives, but tis me hour of triumph. Peter killed at last, and all the boys about to walk the plank. At last I've reached me peak. Ha 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 ha. I am the greatest villain of all time. Who was Bluebeard? Nobody. Who was Nero? Nobody. Who was Jack the Ripper? Nobody. <laughs> Swiniest swine in the world. Captain Hook, Captain Hook. Who's the dirtiest dog in this wonderful world? Captain Hook, Captain Hook. Captain of villainy, murder and loot. He got to kill any who says that my hook isn't cute. It's cute! Who's the slimiest rat in the pack? Captain Hook! Captain Hook! Who's unlovable? You! Who's unlivable? You! Whose existence is just unforgivable? You! Who would stoop to the lowest and cheapest of tricks in the book? Tricks in the book! Slimy, slimy, Captain!
all mortals envy me. Yet, better perhaps behoved to have had less ambition. Oh, fame, fame, thou glittering bauble. In searching for fame, what fame have I not lost? No children love me. I'm told they play at Peter Pan, and that the strongest always chooses to play Peter. They make the baby play hook. The baby, that's where the canker gnaws. I'm told they find me lovable. How can I break it to him that they find him lovable? No bicarbonate of soda. No. Who's the swiniest? Swiniest. The doggiest. Doggiest. Slimiest. Slimiest. Who's the creepiest creep in the world? Captain Hook, Captain Hook, who's unsensible, yeah. irreprehensible, yeah. whose behavior is just indefensible, yeah. who's the crawliest, cruelest, crummiest, crookedest, crookedest, what a prize, what a joy, Mrs. Hook's little baby boy, the skirt of the sea, just little old me. Are all the prisoners unchained? Aye, aye, the little birds are. Then hoist them up! Now, you bullies, 18 of you are about to walk the plank, but I have room for two cabin boys. Which of you is it going to be? You see, sir, I don't think my mother would want me to be a pirate. How about you, Slightly? I don't think so. Would your mother want you to be a pirate, Miss? I don't think so. Stow that cab! You boy! You look as though you had a little pluck in you. Didst ever dream of becoming a pirate, me hearty? What would you call me if I joined? Blackbeard Joe! <laughs> <laughs> John, what do you think? Would you still be faithful to the flag? You would have to swear, down with the flag. Aye! aye. Then I refuse. And I refuse. Then that seals your doom! Send up their mother! <laughs> mother's last words to her sons. These are my last words. Dear, dear boys, I feel I have a message for you from your real mothers, and it's this. We hope our sons will die like gentlemen. I'm going to do what my mother hopes. <laughs> what are you going to be, Nibs? What my mother hopes. What are you going to do, Curly? What my mother hopes. John, what are you going Silence! to do? Silence! Tie her up! and fetch the plank. There is 
nothing, Captain. There is not a sound. Thought I was frightened, eh? Well, how would you like a touch of the cat before you walk the plank? Jukes, get the cat. It is in the cabin. Aye, aye, sir. He's off to get the cat. The mean and scratchy cat. The sting of all nine of its terrible tails. <laughs> what was that? What's wrong with Bill Jukes, you dog? He's dead! Stop! Bill, Bill Jukes dead? dead? The cabin is as black as a pit. There's something terrible in there. That thing you heard, the crowing! Checo, go back in and fetch me out that doodle doo. No, Captain, no! Did you say you would, Checo? Please, Captain, don't make me! All right. All right. Who is to fetch me out that doodle doo? Better wait till Jekko comes out. I think I heard you volunteer, Starkey. No, by thunder. Me hook thinks you did. I wonder if it would not be advisable, Starkey, to humor the hook. I'll swing before I go in there. Aye, aye! aye. Is it mutiny then? Starkey is the ringleader. Shake hands, Starkey. <coughs> Did any other gentleman say mutiny? I will fetch that doodle doo out myself. <laughs> Out the light. Something? Where's Checo? He's as dead as Jukes. Poor Checo. It's a song. The cat is a devil. Now, lads, here is a notion. We will open the cabin doors and drive them in. Let them fight the doodle doo. If they defeat him, then we are so much more the better. If they don't, then we are none the worse. Aye! The ship's bewitched. Aye, the ship's bewitched. The ship's, ship's bewitched. bewitched. The ship's bewitched. There's a Jonah aboard. Aye, it's the man with the hook. Aye, Aye it's the man, man with, with the, the hook. hook. No, lads, no. It's the girl. Aye, aye, it's the girl. Aye, aye it's the girl. the girl. Never was luck on a pirate ship with a woman aboard. Aye, aye, never with a woman aboard. A woman, woman aboard. aboard. Take her to the plank. To the plank. Aye. Aye. None can save you now, Missy. There is one. Who is that? Peter Pan the Avenger. Back, back, you mice. It is hooked, do you like him? Wait, boys, this man is mine. So, Pan, this is all your doing? I hook it is all my doing. Proud and impudent youth, prepare to meet thy doom. Dark and sinister man, have at thee! 
Come on, hook! Come on, hook! Come on, Captain! Captain, come on! Come on, Captain! Come on, Captain! Come on, Captain! It isn't fair! I say it as though it was my last breath. Tis some fiend fighting me. Pan, who and what art thou? I'm you. I'm joy. I'm freedom! Yeah! Then if I'm to die, you'll all die with me. A lighter bomb and blow up the ship. Save us, Peter! In two minutes, the ship will be blown to pieces. Mercy, mercy! Back, back, you fueling spawn. I'll show you the road to dusty death. It'll be a holocaust of children. It's something grand to the idea. Yeah! Get that back! The croc, the croc! Pan, no words of mine can express me out of contempt for you. but it's because I cannot tell a lie. I got a crow. Ah, 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 ah! I'm just the cleverest fellow t'was ever my fortune to know. Ah, 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 ah! I give the sign and the sunlight will shine and the forest will grow and the rivers will flow. I got a Choose you will find such unusual things you can do. Uh, 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 uh. You're getting warm, but your mouth should be forming a happier irk. Don't be such a sissy, prim and prissy. Let out a crow, you've nothing to fear. Come and whisper it close to my ear. Uh, 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 uh. Now we can grow, ah, 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 ah. just like a rooster. 
proudest and gayest and loudest of crows that we know. Everybody let go. when it's time for his dinner. <coughs> tender shepherd, tender shepherd, let me help you count your sheep. One, Wendy, Michael, John! Mother! A little less noise there. Father, the children have come home. Father! Father! Michael, Wendy, John. But who are they? There are a few more of us. Won't you adopt them? What, all 18 of them? Please, Father. George, don't you think we could manage? Well, what's another dozen and a half? Yay! I must say, you don't do things half-heartedly. <laughs> Would you treat me as a cipher in my own house? Yes. Excuse me, sir, but what's a cipher? A cipher is a symbol for zero. A person or thing without value or power. I don't think he's a cipher. You boys! Oh, no, sir. And we'll be good children. All right. Will you treat me with respect? Yes, sir. Let me have a little peace and quiet. We will always try to be so quiet, quieter than mice. Wouldn't that be nice? We will grow up. They will grow up. We will mind our pieces too. They will mind their pieces too. We will never be a bother. They will never be a bother. And we'll always try to choose. Oh, to think of all those shoes. We Like me, like I, like me, like me. Now make yourselves at home. Come on, guys! You won't forget me, Peter. Please, please don't forget.
Wendy? Peter! Where's John? He's not here now. Is Michael asleep? Yes. No. That isn't Michael. Is it a new one? Yes. Boy or girl? A girl. What's her name? Jane. Jane. Peter, are you expecting me to fly away with you? Of course, that's why I came. Have you forgotten it's spring cleaning time? I can't, Peter. I've forgotten how to fly. I'll teach you again. Don't waste your fairy dust on me, Peter. What is it? I'm older, Peter. I'm ever so much more than 20. I grew up a long time ago. You promise not to. I couldn't help it, Peter. I'm a married woman now. No, you're not. Yes. And the girl in the bed? She is my child. No, she's not. No, she's not! Boy, why are you crying? Hello. Hello. I'm Peter Pan. Yes, I know. I came to take my mother back to Neverland. Yes, I know. I've been waiting for you. For me? Yes. Will you teach me how to fly? Do you know any stories? I know lots of stories. And would you tuck me in at night and mend my pockets for me? Oh, yes, Peter. Take me with you. All right, but first I must blow the throw the fairy dust on you. And off you go. How sweet! She's sweet. She's sweet. Look at me, mommy. I'm flying. She's my mother now. Come on, Jane. No. It's just for spring cleaning time. Peter wants me always to do his spring cleaning. Oh, how I wish I could go with you. You can't. You see, Wendy? You're just too grown up. Lovely 
We would like to take this moment to thank all of the flying operators because without them the show wouldn't be possible. So they take the time and do that.